Hey everybody, I'm coming to you with another project share. Um, so I altered my first um, Tim Holtz configuration box and um, it was pretty fun, um, really time consuming. I wasn't sure um, how it was going to come out because I've never done one before, but um, this is what I came up with. This is my box and the theme for my box was pink and girly so you'll see there's a lot of pink on it and um, I kind of went with a little bit more of um, like a vintage feel to it like with a lot of the cameos and like vintage buttons and stuff um, so basically what I did was I painted most of the box pink except for a couple boxes like these inside I added um, paper to them glued it inside um, pink of course so it all match um, this one also has some paper in it and so the outside of the box I had painted pink um, this is a baby pink and it's the paints from folk art and so you could see um, there's a lot of vintage buttons and cameos and pieces like that in it I used a lot of wild ochre craft flowers. Um, these are some of my favorite. These are the small gardenias. They were a little bit wider, but what I did was I sprayed them with some Perfect Pearl spray, a white one. And when they were soft, I kind of molded the petals smaller so um, they wouldn't be so wide because I needed to do, to do that here at the bottom so that my box wouldn't tip over. So I kind of wanted them all to match, so I kind of did that to all of them. Um, these are some of my favorite flowers that Wild Orchid Craft has. And as you can see, there's an assortment of um, the flowers. There's like one of the little tiny ones in there. And then um, I use two in the middle here. These are the ones that come with basically like a white flower with the color added to like the tips of the petals. And then over here, there's two more of the smaller ones. Sorry, I'm outside. Um, I needed light and my lighting inside isn't very good. And then in here we have two of the pink carnations back there. And then there's a little pink one here and a little white one right here. And then this is another one of the white ones that come already colored at the tips and it has some pink tips on it. And this is one of the smaller trellis roses that I love. I think they're so pretty. And then these flowers also came the color that they are right there, which I love. And so, basically, besides the flowers, um, I used a bunch of crochet trim and put it around a lot of the boxes. And on some of it, it's on the inside, as you could see. And um, this one has a lot of it. And a lot of these cameos, they're all from... Jolie's, um, I can forget the name exact, exactly of the line that it was called, but um, they just came out recently, and there's a few different packs of like vintage trinkets, like the cameos, and this is from one, and then I had in my stash some buttons, like this was a button, I just cut the, the little loop on the back, made it flat, and um, this is just a little charm piece that I had that I thought looked really nice in there. And I made um, this little flower right here out of an extra piece of lace that I had. Just kind of rolled it up and added one of these little charms to the front of it. And then just added some bling like here, here, and um, some up here. And then, so the side looks like this. It's basically the pink. And I had this really light pink lace in my stash, so I outlined the box in that. And then I added a strip of light pink mesh bling around the sides and the top and the other side, but not the bottom, of course, because then it would, wouldn't sit still and fall over. Um, that's basically all. It seems simple, but it kind of was time-consuming, but... I really like the way it came out. I think the Wild Ochre Craft Flowers um, was a really nice touch to it. I really like um, the way the flowers look in there. 
So that's my first um, altered configuration box. Hope you guys like it. Thanks for watching.